Uh, hey guys, for the past week I've been looking for an app for my iPhone 4 which would allow me to um, pause video recordings. Um, this is really a feature that should be built in by default and I really hope that iOS 5 um, includes the ability to pause video recordings. However, I was able to find one app on the iTunes store. I swear this is the only app there is at the moment that has this um, ability that has the ability to pause video recordings. Um, it is called iFast Video Zoom Pro with live effects and video sharing. The name's a bit of a tongue twister. They should really come up with a bit of a unique name. Um, it is two forty nine on the um, iTunes App Store. Uh, that's in Australia. If you're in the US or the UK, it's probably slightly cheaper. Um, I'm just going to read through some of the features now. I've got the um, iTunes page open in front of me here. Um, it's got a high video resolution in real time of 480 by 640. I know what you're thinking, it's not a very high resolution. However, at the bottom of their iTunes page, they say in the next update it will support um, video recording in 720p for the iPhone 4. And I really do hope um, they deliver on that promise. Uh, the app would be, you know, the best run, the best video recording app on the App Store if they, you know, did that. Um, live video zoom, um, you can zoom up to eight times. Uh, the exclusive pause function, the reason you're watching this video, pause, resume, video shooting whenever you wish. Um, and what else do we have? Live switching between the front and the back camera, that's pretty nice. It has um, various video effects, um, which include abstract, cartoon, impressionism, motion, negative, x-ray, cold, vintage, night shot, red, green, blue and grey. Um, I believe that could be implemented a bit better, though I will show you that in a moment. Um, and you can export video to the camera roll, send videos by email, share on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. And you can play back um, the videos within the actual application itself. And there are special features for just the iPhone and the iPod Touch um, fourth generation, which include the LED torch, uh, tap focus and exposure, and the ability to switch between the front and the back camera. Uh, so now I've got my iPhone 4 in front of me here. Um, I'll show you what the icon looks like. It's iFast Pro. I'm not sure um, if you can read it properly. I'm not sure if it's focusing or not, though there it is. Um, and I'm sorry about the reflection. Um, so I'm opening up the app now. It's now open. I'll try and angle it so you don't see the reflection. Um, so you might be able to see... Um, wait, let me just get a grip on this. Uh, we have um, the record and the pause button there. So I'm going to actually do a live demonstration. So, um, hi, this is a test video to um, see whether or not the pause function works. And I'm now going to pause the video. And as you can see, it is now paused. And I'm just going to record something random over here. As you can see, my room is a bit of a mess. However, the pause function works, which is the main thing. Okay, and now I have recorded it. So I am going to um, show you the video. I just tap this icon here and it will bring up the video and you can watch it and see for yourself. Um, hi, this is a test video to um, see whether or not the pause function works. And I'm now going as you can see, my room is a bit of a mess, however the pause function works, which is the main um, As you can see there, it more or less works. Um, I think it cut the audio off a bit. Um, I think the only problem um, with um, the app at the moment is that um, I think the audio lags a bit behind the video. But you can obviously avoid this as long as you let it run a bit longer after you stop talking. You know, it's not perfect, though it's currently the best out there at the moment. So, you know, there's room for improvement though, you know, I think they can easily improve upon this app and it could become one of the most popular ones on the App Store. Um, now I'm going to show you some of the effects. However, there is a bit of an issue with the effects. I'm not sure whether or not you can see the text. We have off, cartoon, abstract, uh, motion, impressionism and grey, red, green and blue, uh, so, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, X-ray, negative, and strange. Uh, vintage, 
cold and night and that's all of them however the problem with the effects is you select an effect and you record the video however you don't actually see the effect when you record the video after it's um, saved the video you see the effect then which I think is a bit of a nuisance you know it's a bit of a shame um, hopefully they can um, change it so you can actually see the effect whilst recording it so um, yeah that would be good and up in the top here you have the button to switch between cameras so if I click that uh, yep, see now you can see the camera I'm recording this on so that works and you can also turn the flash on there's not an off button there um, I believe you can also take um, screenshots with the button right next to the record button um, what does that do? does that save them? Uh, I'm not sure how that works exactly, I haven't really played with that yet yeah I haven't really played with that yet, they aren't showing up anyhow, that's not important, that's not why you're watching the video, I will have a look at that later so we have the three video resolutions we have high which is 640 by 480 we have medium which is 480 by 352 and we have low which is 240 by 180 so obviously you use um, you know, low if you wanted to send a video by email or MMS etc I'm just going to put that back on high uh, we have live zoom which is off by default I'm going to turn that on if I can and see how it looks within the app uh, yep, so you get this bar at the bottom here and you just you know scroll across I believe if I can get it to work oh yeah sorry so as you can see it zooms in and it zooms back out all the way up to eight times but, uh, okay and what else can I show you I'm just going to turn that back off uh, landscape mode so it will let you record in landscape mode record audio is on by default and you can also um, set a hotkey there um, and what it means by the hotkey is um, you view all the videos in the gallery and in the bottom corner there is currently a star actually hang on a second I'd better set the hotkey um, I'm going to set the hotkey, so you have a few different options here uh, delete without confirmation, export to camera roll, post on YouTube, share on Twitter, Facebook and turn off the hotkey I'm just going to select um, Twitter and now if I show it to you rather than the star key which was there before which must have been to favorite it or something there is now a Twitter key so um, yeah that's pretty much it for this application, I'm not sure if there is anything else I can show you um, but yeah it seems to work um, alright um, you know it could be improved upon with um, the video effects and um, you know the audio lagging but yeah the audio lagging behind the video a little bit so um, however having said that it's the only app currently available which allows you to pause video so if they were really to you know do a good job on the next update then they could really get it up there um, you know it doesn't help that you know the only review they currently have on the iTunes store is um, two stars I believe um, yeah, yeah the only um, review they currently have on the app is two stars because um, they do not um, support HD video recording um, so once they do support HD video recording it will be a very good app because it will be the only app that allows you um, to pause video until a you know a new one comes out so yeah I highly recommend you download this app give it a try you know it's worth spending a couple of bucks on just to try it out and thanks for watching